What's up, ladies and gentlemen? First off, I want to apologize for not uploading consistently here lately, especially here lately. It's been over two weeks since the last video has been uploaded. I have been extremely busy, so I figured what better way than to mix my personal life and the channel than to bring you out here with these little dudes. They're also going to help me smell and rate a couple of 2021 releases. We have got Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal on board versus Armani Aqua Di Gio Profondo Lights. They'll be smelling and rating them and I'll be giving you all the info. Stay tuned. So I don't have to tell most of you, 2020 was kind of a lackluster year for fragrance releases. There were some decent ones that came out, but 2021, we are more than compensating. There's so many releases, I can't keep up with them all. The only way that I can even keep up is by buying samples. So where do we always buy our samples? MyFragranceSamples.com That's right. Go to www.MyFragranceSamples.com Enter our discount code CFR15 to get that 15% off. Great customer service and a free sample with every purchase. Okay, so before I let these little guys smell these fragrances, I'm going to give you a little information about each fragrance. The first one is going to be Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal On Board. Now, this fragrance is very nice it smells a lot like aviator to me so if you're a fan of aviator you might like this fragrance i'd say yeah you will like this fragrance but it might be a little bit redundant to own both now to me on board is a little bit fresher than aviator even though aviator does have some freshness to it as well it's more of a minty vibe with aviator where you do get a nice blast of bergamot in the opening of on board now on board is not an overly complicated fragrance it's actually rather simple well, other than that bergamot, you're going to get some tonka bean, some geranium, and some amber on the dry down. A pleasant fragrance, a little fresh, a little sweet, not overly complicated. And the second fragrance is obviously going to be Aqua de Joe Profondo Lights. Now, according to Armani Beauty, this is supposed to be a limited edition fragrance. Now, I have seen other fragrances come out as limited edition and they are still very much available. So I guess we'll just have to see how that plays out. Now, this DNA is going to be more intense than the Profundo. If you have smelled Profundo, I will say with certainty, you will like this fragrance. You might like it better. You might like the OG better. I think there's differences in both of them. They're not like massive differences, but it would be enough for you to at least smell them to see which one you like best, or if you're a collector, you'll probably just get it anyway. So on the opening of this fragrance, you're gonna get some green mandarin and some cardamom. So that's gonna give this a very green opening. And this fragrance does stay relatively green from start to finish, but it does evolve a little bit on the dry down. And then you're also gonna go into some cypress and lavender. Finishing up with some rosemary, vetiver, and patchouli. Now, as I mentioned, that opening is more intense. This fragrance does have a little bit better projection and performance than Profundo. So if you're about performance and longevity, that's a big thumbs up for that. Obviously, it's not going to be anything beast mode, but you are going to get a little bit better performance than Profondo. Okay, so I'm going to let one of these boys smell both of these, and he's going to tell me which one he likes better. And then I'll let the other one do the same, and then I'll tell you who chose what. And these guys obviously are not, uh, you know, professionals or anything. They are my trained stuntmen, but... They do love fragrances, they wear them all the time, and I thought this would be a fun twist on the video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him smell the first fragrance. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do you like that one or no? Okay. Which one did you like better, the first one or the second one? First. The first one? Okay. All right, let's get my stuntman number two up here. Okay, here's the first fragrance. Goober. You like that? All right. Does it have laughing gas in it? I like the first one more. You like the first one more? Okay, so I was smart enough to switch those fragrances up so they didn't just copy each other. And Stuntman number one chose 
Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal on board, and Stuntman number two chose Aqua de Joe Profondo lights. Okay, so we can have a winner for this. Obviously, I'm gonna have to smell them as well, even though I'm familiar with these DNAs. Let's just uh, see which one I feel is a more solid release. For me, it's gonna be Aqua de Joe Profondo lights. I like the intensity, and Lamal on board is really good, but to me, it's just so much like Aviator, it's already been done. Obviously, neither of these fragrances are gonna be like overly unique or, you know, groundbreaking, but they are good, solid scents for spring and especially summer since we are now in the midst of this sweltering 100 degree weather here in North Carolina. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Let me know down in the comments, have you tried either of these fragrances? Or if you've tried both of them, let me know which one you like best. If you've tried one or the other, give me the high and low marks that you feel either weren't these as solid flankers or just fell flat. I'll catch you guys next time.